A day after the Russian forces left Bucha, the so-called Botsman boys from the Ukrainian Territorial Defense moved in. Their commander, Sergei Korotkich, call name Botsman, posted the following. Actually, there is nothing to do there. Just mountains of burnt equipment and houses. On the 2nd of April, the Ukrainian army documented their sweep of the city. Wrecked cars, broken tanks, destroyed buildings and disarray, but no bodies. And then Botsman posted a video. <laughs> Someone without a blue ribbon is a civilian, not publicly showing loyalty to Ukraine. The order from Botsman's unit was clear. Shoot them all. A day later, claims of the butcher genocide rang out around the world. Botsman deleted his previous posts and instead started praising the West's condemnation of the atrocities. So who is Botsman? The short answer, a lifelong neo-Nazi with a very colourful past. An ex-Belarusian citizen and member of far-right groups since the 90s, back in 2004, Botsman co-founded the Nationalist Socialist Society, a neo-Nazi group now banned in Russia. A few years later, he was accused of a failed bomb attack on one of Moscow's main squares. But he really rose to notoriety when a grisly video of his emerged in 2007, showing a pair of masked executioners shooting and beheading two migrants. Botsman fled Russia, first to Belarus and then to Ukraine. And while he managed to evade justice, his fellow NSS members did not. In 2011, 13 members of the group led by Karakik, the National Socialist Society, were convicted for 27 murders and 50 assaults in 2008. In Ukraine, Botsman landed on his feet. He became an instructor in the Azov Battalion and then a commander fighting the separatists in Donbass. And despite alarm from local media and human rights groups, Botsman was personally handed a Ukrainian passport by then President Petro Poroshenko, where he was snapped doing the Nazi sun salutation. Less than a year after arriving in Ukraine, he became head of the Department of Strategic Objects and apparently enjoyed the patronage of the former Minister of Internal Affairs. As his status rose, so did his finances. He had managed to accrue a million dollars, one and a half Kiev apartments and a private plane in less than a year, and all on an official salary of $237 a month. Rumors persist that Botsman continues his life of crime. In recent years, two of his close acquaintances have died in suspicious circumstances, and he's also been linked to the murder of a journalist. When war came to Ukraine, he showed his willingness to fight dirty. You are just devils that decided to attack Ukraine. Well, we are waiting for you. Please come. We are going to play football with your severed heads. And it seems he's being supported by people far away, with Botsman boasting of gifts from a US military company on his social media. Clearly, they're unconcerned about his checkered past, just as the media seemed willing to forgive him his sins when they took Botsman at his word about the events in Butcher.